Well, here we are. Another week. It's so another. another another thing. It is. We we are here. But I'm, normally I get all again. weird on the intro, and I just don't know. It's because we've I, changed it up. Fair, what? Yeah, I know. It's because we're on Monday. It is. Thrown us out of balance. It has. Although it does mean I've got something container, lifted some weights, felt awful. <sighs> Came home, at least I've got nothing to do tomorrow night. Exactly. Um, Plus, while you were getting ready on the laptops, I was busy dancing to um, Suede and some pack of an X Warriors. Yep. So I kind of got on and giving it out. Didn't see a bit of that, so. I know, you missed it, mate. It was it 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 beautiful. Um, you know, in, a, in another world, in another day, I would be an ultimate dancer. Just um, so an long as you didn't need to have dancer. rhythm or beat or anything that makes a good dancer. I'm your man. Cool. So, yeah. Well, on that bollocks. Welcome to the road on the not show. Welcome back. Yep. So, hope everybody's doing all right. Uh, yeah. Been week of the old, the big L. Well, the second big L. But hope everybody's. Uh, big L. Oh, I don't want to say it because it's like big it's L it, number two. The big L, yeah, big L number two. Big L, so, electric bugle, as some people are calling it. For what? The big L, electric bugaloo. 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 What? Bugaloo. Bugaloo. Oh. What? Oh, fair enough. I uh, yeah, fair enough then. I thought it was yeah. going down some crazy conspiracy theory section. I was coming new. No. Oh, do you think we'll do that? Like conspiracy theories in like cars and motorsport. That'd be awesome. Well, we did touch I'm on not sure like how look in the t shirt actually, you know. Um be right, sorry. I can't help being so sexy. So yeah. Um Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try and find like motorsport and car conspiracy theories. Okay, I'll leave you I'm with not. that then. Because I've barely even done it. Like, just not about time for that shit. But yeah. So, anyway, enough of the intro. Um, I wanted to go through some bits. I thought we could do what is generally now becoming Andrew's track, or Andrew's F1 and track, and Jonathan's track off track. Dirt. <laughs> Dirtness. Dirt. Boom. That's dirt. That sounds like someone else. Jonathan's dirt. Yes. Yeah, well. Might have to rethink that. It is. May not be age appropriate. <laughs> um, yeah. You've got to think about these things. Anyway, I thought I'd share this with you first. Okay. Also, racing began five minutes after the second car was built. I think I I've seen that quote before. Pretty it's fucking cool. Very, yeah. Yeah. Very, very true. Well, well I, I thought I so, know. because, like, <laughs> if you bought the first car and it was just like, you're pretty much a sad bastard, aren't you? I mean... Surely whoever bought first cam must have done like horse racing or something, so it was just next I step. Think on. So. Yeah, because like eh, I don't know. I like um, horse and car racing. Anyway, let's uh, step forward into today. Yeah, let's go, let's go forward a few few decades. Um yeah, so as everybody knows, it's the big L. Shit's getting locked down. <gasps> I said the word. Fuck. Mm, um, disaster. I know. It is. Uh, but mind. good news. In, well, it's, I mean, as far as like Rallycross and this country, BTIDA, they managed to finish their event. Obviously, we went through that. But um, I forgot where share screen is. I found it. It's all good. <laughs> the good news is that, and for some reason, I've only just actually come across this um, like today. Don't know why. But 
the Five Nations or the British Rallycross Champs, which is Five Nations, which is England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, and where else do you think, Mr. Andrew, for the Fifth Nation? Only covered the British one Rallycross Island. Series. Didn't you? Huh? You only covered well, yeah. one part of Ireland. Well, I think they've been a bit twattish. And just doing Mondello as like all of Ireland. It's going to be like Devon. No, it's going to be like some like little island, isn't it, or something? No, the Netherlands. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because makes sense. Makes total fucking sense that. Because, like, there you go. Vulcan's, Vulcan's Ward. Well, is it? Yeah, well, it's another flag in it, so. Yeah, yeah it's got to know. I don't, even, I don't even know what the track looks like, other than I'm sure it's awesome because it was rather cross. Anyway, getting back to my point, which I've now lost it because I can't go back. I was home. Oh, what shit website? Actual shit website. There we go. <laughs> right, so. British Motocross, uh, oh, British Rallycross, we'll start again. Five Nations Trophy. Um, so, yeah, as we talked about, MSA are allowing, or the Department for Culture, Media, Sport, shit, are allowing elite sport to continue. And uh, the MSA have granted the Five Nations BRX elite sport. So, uh, which is pretty awesome, I think. Um They've only Give had one something round. To watch. Well, exactly. Exactly, mate. Um, they've only had one round, so they've technically done fuck all and not even probably done a series. Because I know FIA is like three rounds minimum. So yeah. they have now, uh, obviously, they had to cancel what would have just been, I think. Um, but what this now means is that they are. Well, I mean, it's confusing because it says the final rounds were held in January 2020, and then they go on to tell you they're doing um, two rounds on the 5th and 6th of December. I'm going to do a double header um, down at Lydon Hill, which is going to have all of the classes apart from the new four-wheel drive stroke group B class. Um, probably because it's just not enough people in it, I imagine. But I think that's pretty oh, yeah. awesome. I think it's great for Rallycross in... UK, um, getting that recognition because you know it's only really GT racing and probably British touring cars that got elite status. I thought I don't yeah. know what else has. Don't know. Don't know has. So I think sure. it's cool that they've got it. Um, I mean, you know, it deserves it because like the cars in that are the other the fucking awesome. So I think that's bloody brilliant, Mister Andrew. It is. Um, very happy with it. So yeah, we'll have some uh, some rallycross to watch in three and a three and a bit weeks when this goes up. So happy days. And then my next thing was this weekend was the uh, what was it? It was the Euro Rallycross. That's what it was. Euro Rallycross. So I wanted to share this video because it's uh, fucking hilarious. So I'm assuming who is this actually? Who am I nicking this from? That put dude there. <laughs> Your boy Zach Rally? No, no, I'm not hungry. Anyway, so this was day two. And this dude basically, I think, just stayed at like the most awesome part of the track. Um, when it gets in it, because fuck me, I didn't see all this when I was watching it through the other day. Oh no, there we go. Don't watch ladders. <laughs> I'm doing that well at the first, but I'm thinking right. Well, that everybody ladders, rushes around. You think ladders are like the Eastern European Mark II Escort? Looks like it just looks like a brick. It does, don't it? But do you not think it's a little bit cool? No. Like, Oh, I think I think they're, I think they're a little mental, man. A little just absolute brick. Fuck it. It's, there's no aerodynamics. It just does look like a brick. I'm surprised that even they get the back end out of suck. So, um, I'm yeah, rear wheel drive. I suppose it's simple in it being rear wheel drive. Oh my god. Oh fucking hell, he's proper off in it. This is like um, watching me play dirt. <laughs> yeah, man. Speaking of that. Yep. 
and not even that. attempted the new one. But we'll oh. we'll have a we'll chat about that. We'll talk um, about that in a bit. Yeah. So, Rally Hungary 2020. Um, a lot of spectators as well. So Hungary must be doing well. So that's nice for a minute. Um, Mickelson oh, won. This is so entertaining. Uh, it actually, right, this dude must have just been sat there thinking, "I have found the greatest corner ever," because uh, nobody can get around it. It appears just nobody. That's all. Um, yeah, Mickelson won it, um, which obviously he's been in WRC before. Look at that man, absolute. That's how you do it. It is, and I, I feel like this video is really distracting. But... <laughs> it's good, though, isn't it? It was sick. It's, it's just like been loving life on that car. Oh, he's well, yeah, he's did he even turn? Holy shit, he's gone off roading. Like this rallying, oh. then this. Oh, <laughs> go on. I mean, he's fair play to him. It's like you're on like rally dirt, isn't it? He's just pinning the oh, throttle no. like fuck it, get out of it. That's fucked now. <laughs> um, other ones that I thought were cool Oliver Solberg came fourth, um, which he was. Two minutes off the pace, I think. Um, but I think that's a good solid performance by him. Uh, what, right, no offence, right? That Civic came around that fucking corner so slowly, he did not have to pull the handbrake. I call oh, bullshit. Yeah. That's how you do it, mate. See? With indicators on, yes. 36, mate. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, two. Oh, no. Put, put the three oh. litre. Well, no. I was thinking, right, I could put the three litre. M3 3 litre engine in the Beamer, but then for the cost of it, it's probably not worth it. No. Just cost a fucking fortune, won't it? Um, and you can't put over 3 litres because then it's got to be a GT car on it. Oh, these are all good drivers now. Yeah, it's got a bit of shit in there. I thought, oh, the ladders back. Fucking ladders are awesome. Um, well, that was boring. He went round it. Um, Hello, Molly. We got we got the mascot back, guys. He's here. Uh, yeah, so I thought Ollie Solberg coming in for I think that was cool because um, he's although obviously he's Pat Solberg's son, he's still pretty early on in his rallying. Um, he's still learning a lot. I mean, yeah, he's got a hell of a team around him, but I thought that was cool. And um, that's about it, really. Cause I didn't really watch any else of it. I just saw this vid and thought it was epic, and I'm getting bored of it now because. It's oh, um, actual dry, it's, actual it's people, actual people that can... not in ladders, not going sideways, oh, not just except, local um, postmen trying to sling around corners. But I've got mm, nothing on it. He's black, proper off. I think we just like, nearly ran over a spectator duty as well. Yeah, this one's actually properly crashing. Like, I'm gonna even show it you because it's fucking hilarious. You ready for this shit? Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Oh, how did it even go? How did it go? There we go. Yeah, he was just yeah, stuck. I can't even see go off. Fair enough. But um, he's proper suck. He's like wedged himself in, Annie. Can it? That's the same as that ladder did, to be fair. And somehow they managed Look, to get that. Ladder's just a ladder, innit? I... And that ladder probably weighed half a ton more than that. <laughs> and probably. Feel... Probably two tons more than that. And fuck, I mean, look, I'm just that, trying to pull it that out. That dude's fucking going for it, isn't he? Hang on, that dude there, even I realised I was pointing at the one thing. Go on. Anyway, well, they did it. I mean, you're going to need a bit of fucking fender work, innit, and shit, but you know. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty damn cool. Well, um, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, that's about it, really. Um, there is a bit of other bits and pieces of Rallycross news. Um, Nitro, the World Nitro event, like World Championship type thing, um, Pastrana, little baby. Um, he's doing a series in 2021. Um, he was trying to make like um, some new tracks, basically. Epic shit, but uh, he's been stopped planning or whatever the fuck they do over in America. Um, but yeah, they're doing a 20, 
21 Nitro Rallycross series. So that'll be cool to see what that's about because it's normally got some mad jumps and some stupid shit in it. And then I think in 2022 we're going into Canada with it as well. So that'll be good. Uh, and that's about it, really, on the old Rally Rallycross front. So I believe now we head over to uh, Mr. Andrew's F1 corner while he goes yo on F1 shit. So, not a lot, to be honest. Um, Why's he probably obviously... gone down? Possibly. Might just Hello. Hello. Ah, um, right. So, no race this week. Um, we are going to, this weekend, we are going to back to Turkey for the first time in a long time Um, this is what the track looks like hang on I like this oh yeah oh okay 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 so what they were saying I can't remember if it was this corner or this one but there's so much g-force going through these corners Especially in like modern day cars, that you all they've been doing for the past week is just like training the neck, pretty much. <laughs> well, look at that though, right? You're gonna come out of here flat out one apex, two apex, three apex, four. Yeah, like that's pretty mad. Down, yeah, look at that. Yeah, imagine the speed coming around this as well, because it's just going to be accelerate, 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 accelerate. Yeah, especially wild. new cars. Yeah. I think it were bad in, like, last time they were there, but, like, in new cars, it'll be yeah. crazy. Do you think so, like, you're going to be breaking it while kind of still on the corner? I don't know where you're pointing, but, yeah. I oh, agree. yeah, you can't see my screen. Uh, number three. <laughs> yep. Like, yeah, you're going to be breaking two, mid-corner for four. Like, so you're kind of going to break while still corner. That's going to be fucking twitchy as fuck if you mess that up. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice indeed. A lot. So that's where we're going this weekend. Cool. Um, so what has been announced is we are going next year to Saudi Arabia. For a night race. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It is. Well, to sell there's you. been a lot of... British Rally Cross, they were going to do it in the night as well, because they kind of need to, because they're doing it all in one day. Anyway. That'll be interesting. Yeah, sorry. Back to F1. <laughs> um, so, a lot of people have been going a bit mental about this. Because I'm obviously... guessing on an ethical standpoint? Yes. Um... So it's a bit... Obviously, there's a lot of money involved. That's why they're going, but... Yeah. Yeah. It's a tricky one. Yeah. A lot of people are saying they should buy it and just not watch it. Um, but... Yeah, I mean... You know, in obviously, in our terms of acceptance and just generally being good people there's a lot of practices that just don't seem right um and i think it uh, yeah it's a bit is it saudi arabia that's recently that in the last few years had the sort of change of power and he was kind of doing more stuff like allowing women to drive Maybe it might be Dubai. Am I thinking of Iran? Because I know the weightlifting team was now allowed to have a female team. Because Ursula Papandera did so much work with them. But I can't remember if that was set. I might have been been around that. Because I know there was one one where there was women were driving and going for it and fair but, but yeah it is tricky in it because it's cultural aspects as well which we're, we're probably not going to understand yeah but there's an element of culture religion dickheads in power just you know it, 
I'm not a politician. Maybe because I just fucking lose my shit all the time in Parliament. Yeah, so anyway, moving on. Yeah. Um, I'm just so... about to start ranting then about fucking. <laughs> Let's not. Um, yeah, um... yeah, um... yeah, but we'll see what happens. It it's probably going to be a very good circuit, cool in the night, but then. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So, we'll see what Probably. happens there. Um, one of the F2 drivers, Yuki Tassonda, has been testing oh, for Alpha Tauri. Um, he actually said that it felt a little bit special when the the team took the uh, tire blankets off because he's only ever seen that in a game before. So I'm assuming yeah, they don't like... do that in F2. No, clearly not. Um, well, I thought that was quite. Be fair, a lot of motorsport that's not allowed him. Yeah. I mean, banks you generally get it in because, oh, you just fucking die, won't you? Yeah. From a motorbike. I mean, it's like when you know when I pulled me, very good mate, was dialer around uh, when he was racing Formula Six Hundred, and um, cash. MC Racing, yeah, they were all on bombs and shit. What's yeah. This? So they've been doing promo shoots in um, Turkey. I'm not sure where, but um, the, the, yeah, the cars broke down. <laughs> not a good omen, is it? No. So there were um, there were another post that showed it on the back of um, a low loader, which was quite funny. Yeah. Um, and then. <laughs> Fuck's sake, what do you mean you're all, yeah. Yeah, doing promo? Loads of people about, and your bloody car don't even work. Bad balls, skinny skid. Not sure if you could see that. All right, but... a little bit um, juddery, but we kind of got the idea that like, he whacks his back end out there and have yeah. the time. Fair yeah. play to him. I yeah. mean, if I take an F1 car down a cobble fucking road and whip a back yeah. end out, hell yeah, I'm up for that shit. Let's go. Oh, and then the one other thing I saw, which was quite interesting. So this is like comparison from nineteen seventy right. to twenty seventeen. Just how Holy much shit. the size difference of the cars. It's crazy. Oh, that is ridiculous. Look at like the air. What are you? Oh Jesus Christ, animal! Look at the aero advances on it though as well. I know. Like, I mean, I know, like, back in the day, like, we didn't really have brakes either. We just yeah. went very fast for the time and had no ability to turn. Yeah. Hence, after when we're just sliding the fuckers about or dying, but you know, whatever. Yeah. As you so do. that were um, that's, that's quite interesting. Awesome, that. Yeah. I think they're just. Oh. I think. You've gone silent. I'm here. Oh, no, you're there. Maybe you didn't go silent. Maybe it was me. I was trying to fuck about with the stream thingy. I thought I broke it, but I didn't. Um, so, yeah, that's prim. Oh, shit. See, I actually then I pressed the wrong button and muted you. Yeah. I think I might stop pressing shit. Yes. That would be a good idea. Because, um... um so, yeah, that's it for F1. Um... One quick thing on touring cars. So, um, Sicily Racing, who Adam Morgan races for in the A class Merc, mm -hmm. um, they're retiring that car after mm -hmm. seven years. Um, seven years in the same car? Yep. Seven years. That is a long here. time for a top level race car because normally they're going to. Competitive, like yeah. constantly, because you think they'll be generally going to update to the newer cars and the I can't say oh, the yeah. word homoglob Hom homologation, yeah, that shit, yeah, um, well, that's pretty, pretty wicked, yeah. Um, that's so they've them. said that I want to drink dehydrated, they're looking dehydrated, kids, good for you. 
So they've said they're looking to get involved in the hybrid era. Makes sense. It's coming. So that'll be an interesting um, move if they're because they were one of the first teams to pick up the like turbo era car, or whatever you call it. Yeah. Um, which was that Merc. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't wondered what the future of touring cars is in regarding the whole electric, because obviously motorsport is going more electric. Um, certain stuff like Rallycross, pretty ideal for fully electric because it's short, short races in it. It's just door to door, try somehow fucking beat them and not die jumping over them or something. Um, so, you know, that kind of makes sense. But then when you're looking at, you know, touring cars, obviously rallying or something, you got the longer duration. You either do a Formula E style hit thing or, yeah, hybrid. So it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, so... it would be nice to have the development into the electric maybe to go with, like, you know, fast recharging solar or, or something because there is shit out there that could probably do it, but... I think that's a long way off yet, isn't it? To be fair. Yeah. So, I also watched British GT this week. Yes, man. I like a bit of GT racing, mate. Don't so, this is something. Lot, but it's no, yeah. This is something pretty, I've. Pretty entertaining. Yeah, I've never watched it before. Um, mm. So, this was Silverstone 500, which is three hour endurance race at Silverstone. What's the 500 um, for? That now, um, so this one last race of the season. Um, so I watched qualifying. I'd say I watched it on Saturday, but I didn't watch it on Sunday. Um, so right. I um, very rarely. So it's, it works a bit different qualifying in this. So because you've got two drivers for each team or each yep. car, they have two sessions. So they have a session where the the lower class driver goes out and sets the yeah. time, and then the higher class drivers go out in the second session. All right. um, them times are then added together, and that gives you your starting lineup. Well, kind of, yeah, makes I like it. I think that was quite a good, yeah, quite like a good that. idea to be fair. Um, just so I'm still trying to find out why it's called the Silverstone 500. Um, still um, can't find it. I was hoping only... for like Wikipedia. Yeah, you'd have thought so. Anyway, you know that's like what God goes to when He needs answers. He does. Um, so there are only ten minute sessions as well, so they're quite well, very quick sessions. Yeah. Okay, that's a quick car as well that you're putting out there, man. Yeah. Um. So Rob Collard, who used to do touring yeah. cars. Um, he's been in it. I used to watch it a lot. Like, yeah, he's been in it a long time. Cars. So this season he went over to British GT in the Lamborghini uh, Barwell Racing, um, and he's been doing very well. Um, wow, the car a lot of bad to drive. Yes, so he got pole oh, in nice. his session, nice. and then his teammate put in a good time, and that got them pole. Um. Uh, Jensen Button were in this race. Just decided right. to turn up. Turn hey, up for Dan. love. Well, uh, you your bad selves. What more about the chatting, Marie? So, what about the chatting? Button. I can't cats back chat me so much. People out there cats, cats do. don't have personalities. They're just, no, they're not, right? Because I've got two distinctly different fucking cats. I've got a sense of fucking try me at times. It's I do right. love I the bastards. Well. What, sense of try me? I know you are. No, I have two oh. cats that are not bad as well. Probably me sent to try you, I suppose. So, yeah, Jensen Button has his own team called okay. Jensen Button Racing Team Rocket RGN or something. I don't know. Oh, I've got these really long team names at the moment. Yeah. moment. Um, so, uh, his team had one car, and that mm-hmm. was James Baldwin, who is world's fastest gamer um so last year he was playing gran turismo or whatever and won a championship to get him a professional drive 
which ended up being with Inchens and Bones too. Decent, really. In a McLaren. So that ain't uh, bad. He started in fourth. Sure. <laughs> I mean, he, where did it? I can't remember where he ended up finishing, but he finished in pretty good space and he, he was challenging Impressive, for the yeah. championship as well. So. Wow. It's oh, fair play to really. yeah, To man. say, um, so as I was saying, Button decided to get in the, on this race. He did crap in qualifying and qualified 18th. Um, but I mean, it's still dad, a good place to qualify in British TT, isn't it? Because it's a flipping probably. hard like, category. But yeah, the speed Formula World F1 World Champion, isn't it? So, I mean, the dad's no testing. The track yeah. were damp, and the car That's, that they had... You've got some decent excuses, then. Yeah, the car they had was just the McLaren test car with their livery on it. What? So, what? So they didn't actually have a car. They just went and asked McLaren, oh, like, yeah, can we borrow one? And they're like, yeah, just take the test car, it's fine. Pretty impressively qualified 18th, to be fair. That's some yeah, fucking driving uh, there. No like. testing, no like that, that's very fucking impressive. Very impressive. So race went on, couple crashes, couple safety cars. Um the, in fact there was a safety car within like first three laps or something. Cold tires? Um yeah, I think I assume so. Um um Collard won. Won oh, championship. Okay. Awesome, man. And his teammate Sandy Mitchell. So, yeah, they won. Okay, male or female, Sandy Mitchell? Male. Cool. Um, yeah, a good race. So GT4. GT3, three. sorry. Three, yeah. Oh, Molly. That was a really big jump. Mascot's back. Yeah, that was GT3. Um, GT4 cool. were quite... GT4, actually, Rob Collard's son were racing in it, challenging for championship. Yeah, didn't Rob Collard race Carrera Cup? Possibly. For a while. I think he might have done. Possibly. He might have done. He's got two sons, I think. So one of them were doing F Formula Ford at one point as well. Not sure what happened to him. They're pretty cool. So, Went in a Formula Ford. Pretty so, much. So, yeah. Um, a pretty good race. Highly recommend watching it next time it's on. Well, be on, they're on YouTube, aren't they? British yeah, YouTube. if you go on GT World, all their races are saved on there. Yeah, that's it, GT World. Yeah, because that's where I found her. I think it was early this year, actually. Oh, no, yeah, I don't same. think he did, do he? Oh, yes, he did. 2007. He didn't have a BTCC drive, so we went in for Porsche Carrera Cup. Um, found him achieving little success in these big... Difficult to control rear wheel drive cars. I then got the final rounds in the BTCC. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Not much else. Yeah, well, he's gone on to um, be pretty fucking good in those difficult to control rear wheel drive cars, and I. Yes. Well, I believe I'm Porsche as such, but that's pretty fucking sick. No, yeah, no, you have just... a lot of aero in them GT. Yeah, especially cars, yeah. Well, you've got to, aren't you? Because, I mean, like in the GT4, your aero is limited. Is it 500 horsepower, I think, they roughly put out? Not a clue. Which is still fucking ridiculous. But I think they're literally at a point where they can't really put more horsepower out because they just can't keep the fucking car under control. Yeah. Probably. Something along that lines. And then you just go GT3 and it's fucking whatever. Yeah, it's gone mad. So, very cool. But yeah, I do like a bit of GT race. It's just, it's just so bloody long. I ain't got that many hours, unfortunately. Maybe that's why I quite like Rallycross. I've got a short attention span. And it's fast. And it's mental. And it's over in three minutes. Yeah. Might so, be. So, yeah. That's me done. Nothing else to talk about, my friend. Well, good. Well, that's cool. 
So yeah. Well, that's right. I'm actually quite looking forward to that F1 race. You know, I might, I might try and watch a bit. Is it on Sky? Is it? It will be. Oh, I don't have Sky. I'll find oh, some well. dodgy websites, mate. Cheers, I'll need mate. To... <laughs> Not that we could ever condone illegal streaming of um, sporting events. Highly inappropriate. No. Never. Um, well, that's cool. Well, that's good F1. I'm really glad. Uh, really glad? Glad. Break all across. It's got elite status. Five nations, whatever the fuck called. I don't know. Um, that's cool. So I'm looking forward to that. They're, they did say as well that they're going to uh, ensure some more decent online coverage. Because obviously yeah. it's behind closed doors. So happy days on that. Uh, yeah, bad isn't it? Good place to finish. Yeah, man. So yeah, as usual, if you've managed to make it this far along to thirty-three-ish minutes, um, I'm surprised. Well done, thank you. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. Please like. Um, like, subscribe, yeah, like, I'm to say at the beginning, like YouTubers do. But... No, that's usually how you start it, don't you? <sighs> yeah, which is not a very good around. YouTube. I mean, we're not exactly like some, I mean, you just see fucking guys sat here on, well, tonight, on Monday night, chatting about shit we like. It's a professional quality. quality this, I don't know about. Well, it's gone better this week than it did last week. You know what I even did last week? I called the car show the motorsport show on the thumbnail. Fucking just disgraceful. But yeah, um, and yeah, comment, let us know what you've enjoyed being in motorsport this week. Oh, yeah, any news? Uh, you know, we can always pick it up and have a little chat at the beginning of next next week. Um, nobody will comment, nobody does yet. You know, I've got like two views, which is me and you. So, you're right. So, yeah. That'll do. Goodbye. Say hello to Cherie for me. I'm assuming it's Cherie. Oh, fair enough. Um, well, we'll call it there because. Well. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Love it. Um. Oh, that's up. Goodbye, all. Oh, yeah, fuck it. It's the end, isn't it?